in your community. Our Rochester native and comedian Chris Allen is getting ready to take the stage tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. This morning he's joining us in the studio giving us an idea of the show and welcome back home to Aquinas grad, Rochester native. You must be excited to be here. I'm glad to be home. Go AQ. Down with Bishop Carney. Forget McQuaid. <laughs> oh no. AQ number one baby. I've heard that. I've heard that from several Aquinas people. I, yes. I guess there's a big rivalry. I'm not from the area. I, so yeah, I would say not really because Aquinas is hands down the best, <laughs> so it might be a rivalry on their end, but not for us at all. Okay. So, yeah. All right, very good. What's it like being back home? Uh, it, it's great, man. I, I love my city. Uh, I spent 20 years in the military. I've seen a lot of cities, a lot of towns, and, like, Rochester is really a special place, mm -hmm. and I, I love coming back home to do comedy because I feel like this is where uh, I, I, I earned my funny, you know? Yeah. You know, growing up how I grew up making my friends laugh and stuff like that. So to be able to come home and to have all my friends be able to see like, hey, I'm doing it professionally now. And it's like, thank you guys so much for kind of being mean to me and making me a funnier guy. So Being mean to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and it was a lot of trash talk sure. amongst the kids. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what got me started, you know, down the route of, uh, of comedy. So, so where have you been bouncing around then for the past... 20 years? Uh, I was in the military. I was stationed in Virginia, Korea, Ohio, uh, Cor I already said Korea, Texas. So just all, all over the country, but mainly the Midwest and the uh, the, the, the East Coast. So, Very good. Yeah. And while you were doing that, were you doing comedy a little bit then too? Absolutely. That's when I started. I started about eight, uh, about 10 years into my career and I, I fell in love with it to the point where like it's what I wanted to do full time. And if I'm being honest, my military career kind of took a little bit of a hit. I didn't, I didn't make the rank that I wanted to because I was so focused on, on really? comedy. Like once I hit the stage, I was like, "This is my place. Mm. This is where I need to be," and I, I absolutely love it. Do you um, have any regrets looking back that you didn't get into it sooner? Uh, you know what? I'm in a place in my life where I try not to do that. You know, I felt yeah. like I started when I was supposed to start, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying where I am right now, you know? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the show. Um, well, uh, full disclosure, I'm going to be shooting my first special next year. I'm not going to give all the details, yeah. but I'm, I'm really, really excited. And like I said, I was in the military for 20 years. I had a security clearance, so I felt like uh, for the first part of my career, I really couldn't say a whole lot. I had to maintain the military image, make sure I didn't do anything to compromise my, uh, my, um, my, my clearance. But now I'm talking about family. I'm talking about going to therapy. I'm talking about, um, look, the military made me, if I'm being honest, it made me a very angry, upset person. And, um, I'm, and I'm the happiest I've ever been now. And so I talk about my, my, um, my mental health journey. I talk about being a father. I talk about reconnecting with my wife. We've been married for 18 years. And I talk about the struggles between communication, love life, and, and building a relationship with my son. So it's, it's really personal. I talk, I talk about losing my grandmother. I talk about uh, some childhood stories about my mother and father and the, the influence that they had on me. And uh, yeah, it's really about who I am and how I became to be the guy that I am today. So. So yeah. serious topics for it's, sure, but yeah. I imagine you put kind of a, a spin on it to, to bring that comedic oh, relief. Oh, ab absolutely. I feel like the, the best comics talk about their lives, and it, it, I, it has been difficult to try to do this, but I, I feel that's where the gold is. That's where the gold is. It's talking about real things, talking about things that people can relate to. And sometimes comedy can be a little uncomfortable, but the, the journey is trying to figure out how to make the painful or yeah, experiences funny and relatable to other people because I know other people have gone through some painful and hurtful and, and, and you know and obviously funny things in their life. So, yeah, that's 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 what I'm doing. I'm trying to be as honest as I can and as funny as I can. Now, one of the first questions you ask when you walk in here was, "Can I swear?" We said no, obviously. <laughs> but is this a family-friendly show, or is it more more for the adults? It's more for the adults, but it, it's nothing egregious. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, as a young comic, yeah, you think that you know using a lot of foul languages that's edgy, but you realize it's kind of detracting from the uh, distracting from the act. Yep. So just trying to pull back on some of the uh, the cursing and all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for your yeah. time today. We'll put all your ticket information you. on foxrochester.com. We have weather, traffic, and local headlines up next.